Hi, uh, welcome to the session on uh, CMA part 1. Financial reporting, planning, performance and control. In this session we discuss about revenue recognition. How to recognize revenue uh, in uh, from different transactions like uh, um, revenue from long-term construction contracts, revenue from installment sales, revenue using cost recovery method, deposit method, and uh, progressive billing method. In the previous session, we discussed about how to recognize revenue from uh, installment sales method. Installment sales method says, Revenue is to be recognized when installment is collected in cash, in which we discussed about the steps in revenue recognition from installment sales by calculating gross profit, percentage gross profit, and based on the amount of installment collected, we recognize the gross profit by multiplying the, the cash collected from installment with the percentage gross profit. Once you recognize the gross profit, total amount of gross profit on a particular transaction minus the gross profit recognized in the current period is to be deferred and it goes on year by year. As per the installments collected, we recognize the gross profit and remaining amount of gross profit is to be deferred. Construction contracts, especially long-term construction contracts, wherein the, the, the outcome, outcome or the result of this uh, task cannot be handed over to the client in a short period of time, usually cannot be completed in a, a year or less than a year. Therefore, we need to use some you know, methods to, construct, to contract, uh, sorry, to calculate the revenue from long-term construction contracts based on the stage of completion or also known as degree of completion. To what extent? the outcome of the transaction is estimated. Okay, so when we say that a long-term construction contract out of say 10 million worth of the project is completed to the extent of 30%. So the degree of completion or stage of completion is 30%. So your revenue here is $10 million only upon completion of this project, fully completion of this project. But as of now, you completed only 30%. So 30% of this revenue should be recognized. So when you say 30% of 10 million is 3 million, and what is the cost you incurred so far? Cost incurred should be deducted to get the gross profit of the current period. So we need to calculate the percentage completion. We need to calculate the cost incurred to calculate gross profit. Calculation of percentage completion, calculation of the cost incurred in the current period. Then you can calculate gross profit. This is in the first year, say for example. Second year, the progress will be 30% 30, 30 plus something. So we construct a little bit more here. Say for example, so far we completed 42% from the inception. So in year two, the degree of completion is not 42% because in year one we completed 30% upon which we worked and it reached to 42%. So in year two, the degree of completion should be like this 
minus 30% which was already completed in first year. So the degree of completion in year two was only 12%. And year three, we completed the work, so 100%. But in year three alone, when we say 100% completed, up to year two, we completed 42%, including year one and year two. So the percentage completed in year three alone is only 58%. So it should be like this. The, the incremental degree of completion should be used to calculate gross profit in each year. Let's follow some steps in a, a construction contracts, long revenue from wrong, uh, long term construction contracts. And uh, in this method, especially what you need to do is you need to find out first of all, what is the degree of completion, stage of completion, what are the cost incurred? What are the cost incurred? And you may see some kind of, you know, amount of revenue that can be only measurable based on degree of completion, but not the total revenues and cost incurred. Okay. And when you see that the collection is probable, so you said I uh, should uh, build the customer and uh, collect money, but this is not related to your revenue recognition. Cash collection is not related to revenue recognition. Percentage completion and cost incurred, these are the two components we use in the calculation of revenue from construction contracts. So uh, in construction contracts, mostly the single contract method is used, but if you have a similar contracts, contracts are of similar nature can be combined we use two methods here um, for the, the revenue recognition in case of long term construction contracts two methods method one percentage of completion method percentage of completion method in which we use degree of completion that is to what extent the contract is completed in the recognition of revenue when to use percentage completion method? The percentage completion method should be used when terms of contract must be certain, like uh, the contract price is say $10 million, it is certain, and it is completed in three years times. Okay, And we know that what is the degree of completion? the certainty of performance by both the parties then in three years it is going to be completed. And estimation of completion, estimated estimate of completion can be made reliably. Like when you say first year is completed with a 30% the degree of completion. So this has to be measured reliably. So we can see that 30% of revenue can be recognized uh, the most popular method used in uh, long term construction co uh, long term construction revenue recognition method is percentage completion method whereas there is another method called completed contract method which is not allowed for external reporting in fact unless unless when this is used only when the percentage method is inapplicable means what we cannot calculate the percentage completed certain contracts we cannot come you know a measure the percentage completed like marketing research and development yeah web designing for a, a e-commerce company okay so suitably this is this method is suitable for only a short-term contracts where a contract can be completed in a less than a year period, like construction of a helipad. Helipad. It may say take like three to six months time. Within that period, whatever the total contract price, say five hundred thousand dollars, and whatever the cost incurred so far, say three hundred and ninety-five thousand dollars. So we can 
recognize the revenue of uh, a gross profit of 105,000 Q. Here, once the contract is completed, we summarize all the costs incurred until the completion of the project and deduct from the contract price what you are going to receive from the client. Once you deduct the total cost incurred from the contract price, you get gross profit. So, under this method, the revenue is to be only recognized when a contract is completed, the task is completed, the work is completed 100%. Let's now work on the percentage of completion method. In percentage of completion method, simply follow these uh, four steps. Four steps include, first of all, we need to calculate what is a percentage completed. To calculate percentage completed, what you need to do is, what is the cost incurred to date as of now? As of now, say, in first year, we incurred $300,000. We uh, entered into a contract of say one million dollar. This is the contract price, and estimated a uh, an estimated estimated cost is say nine hundred thousand. The contract price is one million, and estimated costs are nine hundred thousand. Therefore, the estimated profit is hundred thousand dollars. So from this 900,000, so far we incurred 300,000. So out of 900,000, we incurred 300,000 plus cost to be incurred 600,000. So remember this, cost incurred to date divided by cost incurred plus cost to be incurred multiplied by 100 will give you percentage completion. So it is nothing but 300,000 divided by 900,000 times 100. 300,000 divided by 900,000 times 100 will give you 33.33%. 33.33%. So once you calculate this percentage, you will come to know what if what amount of revenue should be recognized from 1 million. So estimated total revenue. So estimated total revenue is nothing but the total amount of contract price that is 1 million multiplied by the percentage completed calculated in step 1 that is 33.33%. That is 333,333. So this is a revenue recognized. This is not the profit, it is only a revenue. You know that revenue minus expense will give you profit. Yes, how much you incurred in a current period. Okay, so this first, second step, uh, once you complete second step, you should immediately jump to fourth, the fourth step in the first year. Why? Because total revenue to be recognized, less revenue recognized in the prior periods. In the, first, in the first year, there is no prior year. So there is no step three for first year revenue recognition. Don't use this. So simply current period revenue, that is this 1 million times 333 or 33.33%, uh, 33 that is 333,333 33 minus cost incurred in first year, that is 300,000 equals to 33,333,000. This is the gross profit in the first year. When you go to second year, when you go to second year, this third step will also come because uh, revenue recognized in the prior years. In the second year, revenue recognized in the prior year becomes 333,000. $333. So, first you need to calculate degree of completion multiply with the contact price, deduct expenses to get gross profit. In the second year, same again, calculate degree of completion, calculate the revenue to be recognized to date, minus the revenues which are already recognized in the prior period, that is step three, 
then less current costs. Let's work with an example here. Let's take an example. Yes. Let's concentrate on this 2013 column. The contract price is 4.5 million. Estimated cost is 4 million. So estimated profit is 500,000. If all the costs are in your control, 4.5 million minus 4 million is going to be 500,000. That's the estimated profit. If the costs are in your control, the cost increase, your gross profit will decrease. That we'll see in the calculations. Let's only concentrate on 2013, the first year. Cost to date is 1 million. So out of 4.5 million, we incurred so far, oh, sorry, out of 4 million, we incurred so far 1 million. Cost estimated to be completed, that is 3 million, obviously, right? So total cost estimated was 4 million we incurred so far 1 million what is the cost to be incurred in the future years 3 million 1 million plus 3 million is 4 million if at all he gives you that no we have to incur 3 million 100 thousand hmm. estimated cost is disturbed therefore your estimated profit will also decrease to that extent after incurrence of 1 million you still to incur only 3 million, say for example. But if, if at all the cost, the estimated cost is going to be increased to 3.1 million, your profit will decrease by $100,000. Your estimated cost is going to, profit is going to be only 400,000 because cost increased. But that, that will come to know in second year. At the moment, there is no change, 1 million and 3 million. And in the exam, you would be also given progressive billing, like you are sending a client that, that the worth of completed uh, work is, com is 900,000. So when you invoice your customer, when you send an invoice to your customer for the uh, uh, work completed, uh, he may give you a portion of this by retaining some amount. We are sending an invoice to your client for the work completed, $900,000. So there is a common practice that the client will deduct some amount keeping a security aside. He won't release full 900,000 now itself. He may pay you only 750,000 here. Cash collected is 750,000. So the remaining 150,000, he holds it until the completion of the project. Client holds it until the completion of the project. For your information, these two, these two amounts are no way related to our topic. In the revenue recognition, we need to always concentrate on what are the costs incurred and what are the cost estimated costs. You don't need any progressive billings and cash collected. Simply ignore in the revenue recognition. Do not consider these two points at all here. So what you need to do is you just concentrate on this estimated cost to be completed and cost incurred to date. So cost incurred to date in 2013 is 1 million divided by cost incurred plus cost yet to be incurred. That is 1 million divided by 1 million plus 3 million times 100 that is 4 million is giving you 25%. So revenue to be recognized in first year is 4.5 million contract price times 25%, that is 1,125,000. As you know that this is the first year, there is no prior year, so we don't need third step. So 1,125,000 minus cost incurred in first year, 1 million. So the gross profit is going to be 125,000. Now we understand that in second year, that cost incurred to date is 2,196,000. Remember this 2,916 includes 1 million of last year. The cost alone incurred in 2014 is 
one million nine hundred and sixteen thousand plus the cost incurred in the last year one million is becoming one uh, two million nine hundred and sixteen thousand and if you calculate this amount one million one thirty four thousand estimated cost to be included at the end of second year one million one thirty four thousand plus two nine one six is going to give you four million fifty thousand but we estimated a cost of only 4 million. When we estimated a cost of 4 million, our estimated profit was 500,000. Now cost is disturbed here. Estimated cost increased by 50,000. So your profit will decrease by 50,000. So your total overall profit is going to be 450,000, not 500,000 because cost Estimated is going to be more by 50,000. Now let's work on these two amounts. How to calculate revenue and gross profit from 2014. In 2014, cost incurred to date is 2916, including last year 1 million, divided by estimated cost to be incurred 4 million 50,000. That is 2916 plus 1134. 1134 is going to be incurred and 2916 has already been incurred. So total cost including cost incurred plus cost to be incurred. 72% is the degree of completion. 72% is the degree of completion. We can do like this. 72% already last year we completed 25%. 72 minus 47%. Oh, sorry, 72% minus 25%. You can directly calculate 47% of the revenue, or what you can do is you calculate complete 72% of the total revenue minus revenue recognized in the prior period 1,125,000. So 4.5 million into 72% less revenue recognized in the last year. 1,125,000. Current re year revenue is 2,115,000. Minus current period cost. You remember this 2,916 includes 1 million last year incurred. So current period revenue uh, cost is only 1,916,000. So the gross profit is 199,000. Current period revenues minus current period costs. In the third year, it is very easy now. To calculate because by this time we completed 100 percent 25 percent lost uh, first year and 20, 47 percent in just prior year and the total completed now so 72 percent 100 percent what is completed here 28 percent but you don't need all these why because total revenue as of now is three million four million five hundred thousand Revenue recognized, recognized in the prior period was 1,125,000 plus 2,115,000 prior periods. That is 3,240,000. And revenue to be recognized in third year is 1,260,000 minus revenue cost incurred in current period. That is 2015 alone is 1,134,000. So 126,000 is the profit. If you cross verify, Remember that 4 million cost increased by 50,000. So your cost is 4 million 50,000. And the revenue, what you are getting from the client was 4 million 500,000. Minus this 4 million 50,000, your profit is 450,000. From 450,000, first year we recognized 125, second year 199. And third year 126. If you add these three amounts, you will get 450,000, which is matching. This is the end of the session on revenue recognition from long term construction contracts using percentage completion method. Step 1, 2, 3, and 4. And in the case of uh, completed contract method there's no method in fact 
uh, there may, no method to calculate any gross profit, but simply all the costs incurred should be just deducted from the contract price to get the gross profit. All the cost incurred once the contract is completed should be deducted from the contract price to get gross profit. That's all for now and we'll see you in the next session to calculate the revenue from a cost recovery method using cost recovery method and progressive billing method. How to use and when to use progressive billing method and deposit method. Till then, have a good time. See you again. Bye-bye.